On these summer weekends, it seems like everyone is looking for a place to escape close to home. One spot that attracts 10 million visitors a year, Lake Tahoe, famous for its clear blue waters. But as Anna Werner reports, scientists are out on the water there too, trying to figure out how to keep it crystal clear. Yes, there's a pandemic, but at Lake Tahoe, even on a weekday, people still crowd Pope Beach. I like about camping with our bikes and having a bike ride and going swimming at the, at the lake. This is something beautiful that everybody wants to visit, wants to look at. Which is why Matt Munier's dive business is still going strong, even in a pandemic. Exceptional clarity. Lake Tahoe is the cleanest, most wonderful lake, I think, in the country. Now the bad news. Lake Tahoe's not as clean, not as clear as it used to be when he moved here over two decades ago. The clarity was better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The thing that we're noticing more and more is down on the rocks. You're getting this strange algae. Climate change, scientists believe, has affected the water temperature and thus the clarity. And 15 million people visit the lake annually, along with the garbage they leave. Munier says dive trips to clean up the bottom of the lake found old trash. When I say old trash, I mean 60s. 70s, beer cans, soda cans, church key cans from the old days. Scientists monitor the clarity of Lake Tahoe every year by dropping this white disc, then measuring how far down they can see it. UC Davis professor Jeff Schlado. That's an important indicator to us of how healthy the lake is. When it was measured last year, the clarity of the lake was about 80 feet. That means they could see that disc 80 feet down. But consider this, about 20 years ago, you could see that disc 100 feet down. That's the trend that scientists are trying to reverse. But they're fighting the impacts of climate change, development around the lake, and something added to the lake in the 1960s. A tiny invasive shrimp brought in to feed the fish. It didn't work. Once the shrimp came in, there were suddenly no natural cleaners in the lake. Similar challenges are facing lakes and bodies of water around the world. If you can't do it at Tahoe, then you know, what hope is there for all the rivers and estuaries, streams and lakes around the country that are never going to have the same degree of attention, the same level of resources. Are you able to be hopeful given all the pressures on the lake? Yes. If there's a silver lining of our pandemic, I think it showed their nature will come back and heal itself if we just relieve that pressure, that human pressure. There's, there's facts there now. Facts that hopefully make the solutions clear. Anna Warner, CBS News, South Lake Tahoe.